Hello, I'm Rachel Gox from Blossoms and Bundles, and I'm starting um, a little video project thing as long as I can figure everything out well enough of doing videos on DIYs for beauty and health. And they're going to be super easy and just quick DIYs that everyone can do with ingredients that most people have in their houses. And the first one isn't, I'm not going to give any demonstrations, I'm just, I just want to tell you about the no poo method. And the, what it is, is you use baking soda to wash your hair and absolute vinegar to um, condition your hair. And so... It's super easy, and I mean it costs like next to nothing because you use generally it's about five tablespoons of baking soda, and then you just put apple you just put apple cider vinegar in a spray bottle, and you spray your hair with it, uh, just the ends, cause, and because you don't need to get it on your hair or anything, you just put it on your ends. That's where it's dry, and needs a little bit of help <laughs> down there, and then you just rinse it out, and you're done. So, the reason why this is a good thing to do is because a lot of shampoos are very drying on the hair and it strips your hair of the natural oils that it produces. And instead of using those, all those shampoos that aren't very good for you and have toxic chemicals in them and things, I mean, a lot of the shampoos at the health food store have toxic chemicals in them still. They have less, but they still have some. And they may not, I mean, if it's toxic, it's still toxic, right? So maybe you might want to consider doing this. It takes a little getting used to f for your head to balance out, not your, your head, mind you, but your scalp to stop produ overproducing oils. You know, some people have different transition times. Some people can do it just right off the bat and other people it takes a few days for them or longer. But it's generally a pretty quick transition time. Now what you do is you can either mix baking soda with water and pour in your head and shampoo your hair like you normally would shampoo your hair. And uh, then you just rinse it out. Or else you can use um, the dry method where you can either start with your hair dry. I did it with my hair wet because uh, I, like, I didn't... Um, think about putting it in my hair dry. So <laughs> I just, my hair is already wet, but you can use it with your hair already dry, which is what is recommended. You just put it in your hair, just about five tablespoons, and you uh, massage it into your scalp, and that takes away all of the dead skin cells and any product buildup and any oil buildup, and it washes it out but it doesn't strip your hair of the oils and so that way the next day uh, your hair isn't super oily because it's overproducing oils to compensate and that way you can go longer without shampooing your hair which is much healthier for your hair and one of the ways that I get away with going even longer like I, I'll go three four days without shampooing my hair some people can go quite a bit longer than that but um one of the ways that I do to get away with that is I brush my hair at least 100 brush strokes every night. And what that does is it brings the oils from the top of your head down to the bottom and it conditions your ends so that way you don't have to use as much conditioner or in this case apple cider vinegar. And then I do a vinegar rinse every week on just my whole entire head. And just because it's more, it cleanses everything and uh, it conditions my hair from the roots. So, I really, oh my goodness. So I really like doing that and it's much, much, much easier to take care of my hair that way and my hair has grown quite significantly since I did that, which brushing your hair every night uh, makes your hair, I don't know what the right word is, for it, but it's it, it it entices them your hair follicles to start growing more I suppose would be an appropriate word but 
I really like doing that and I found it very successful. Okay, what else do I need to talk about? Um... Oh yeah! So if you want to transition from the regular shampoo to the baking soda and you don't want quite such, you think you might, if you have any major problems with the oil and so, and you don't want to walk around with a scarf on your head or a hat, then you can try starting out with African black soap or there is a brand of shampoo called Sheer Miracles. You can get it online or at a salon near you if there is one. And But that's like a professional brand that has more oils added to it. Like there's hemp oil and things and essential oils. But it's quite a bit more expensive than this. Like a lot more. <laughs> and uh, this is like not even $10. And this lasts me and my husband like over a month and we use it to wash our bodies and to um, shave. I don't use it everywhere to wash my body. I, I also mix my own soaps. Um, I just mostly use this for shaving and it lasts us a long time. And plus they also have refill bottles that are bigger than that and so that way you can keep reusing the same bottle and so it's more eco-friendly and yada yada yada. But uh, so, you will still have some uh, transition time with that, but it won't. It might not be as severe. I mean, it shouldn't be. But and it it's just it acts as regular shampoo, you know, because you get to you feel the shampoo in your scalp and it rubs in really nicely, whereas. The baking soda, you're like, what is this? And it feels like it's matting up your hair, even though it's not. It's just because there's baking soda in there, and you have this hair and baking soda together, and it just feels really weird at first. But you'll get used to it, and you will be very glad that you started doing it. Because, um, I mean, some people have been able to shampoo their hair with uh, the no poo method, and then after a while, they don't even have to use anything to wash their hair, they just use water. And I think that would be really great because, I mean, then you don't have to worry about putting any baking soda in the shower or anything, you know? <laughs> so, you know, you know how that is when you have soap outside of the shower and you run out and then you have to go out of the shower and it's freaking cold and like, who, who wants to do that? Nobody. Nobody, you know? Um. I mean, that's really it. It's so simple. You just put five tablespoons on your hair, or more or less, depending on how much hair you have and the thickness of it. And you rub it into your scalp, or you can mix it with some water and pour it on your scalp that way. But I like the method with just putting it right onto your head. Um, and I just let it sit there for a while, just because I like to let it get kind of wet more, and then rub it into my head. And then you rinse out your hair. And then you pre spray on apple cider finger just on the ends of your hair. And depending on how conditioned your hair is or how healthy it is, you may need to use, not have to even uh, do the apple cider vinegar every day. Which I don't, I just do it once a week. And that's it. It's really easy and much healthier for you and for the environment and everything going down the drain. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you give it a shot and let me know how you do.